guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post some videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So I know y'all seen me in the same outfit from the previous video, which was an unboxing sort of haul. I know, but I wanted to make this video because like I'm excited to get into this bag. And as it says below, it is going to be the February Delilah box. I love the Delilah box. I started receiving them in December. I reached out to the owner, who is Taylor Hill. Um, I just sent an email, and she sent me the December box. And then she saw my video and decided she wanted to send me um, January, February, and March boxes for review for free. And I truly, truly just thank you again, Taylor Hill. If you're watching this video, thank you so much. Um, I actually was, like, shocked when this came in the mail because I had just received the January um, Delilah box and then this one came I was like wait didn't I just get a box so if you haven't seen my January um, Delilah box just click the eye on the screen here that one was pretty darn awesome and if you haven't seen the December one just click the eye on the screen to go watch that but um, we are here for the February and I'm, I'm loving this bag just she cute she and I saw the ones for March I hope I get a donut bag for March. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there, you know, just throwing it into the atmosphere. I would love, I would love a donut bag for March. But you know, if I don't get one, it's okay because all the other bags are cute too. But that donut one was, it just looked delicious. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. So before I get into the bag, if you guys don't know what the Delilah box is, I don't even have the information open. So I apologize. So prayerfully, I can remember this off the top of my head. But the Delilah box is basically a box geared towards women um, who want to learn more about the lesser known or lesser liked women of the Bible. When we think of the Bible, we normally think of Esther and Ruth or Bathsheba, these good girls from the Bible. But um, the lesser liked or bad girls of the Bible we can also learn from. There's Delilah. Delilah is pretty much infamous for her treachery and being just, you know, a seductress and all this with Samson and betraying him. But um, we learn, we can learn things from her. Um, the same thing with all the other, you know, bad girls of the Bible. And um, Delilah really, the Delilah box, excuse me, really focuses on that. And um, any given month, you can get two to three books. Um, fictional, non-fiction. She sends some goodies like teas and pens and notepads and things like that. Um, and it's just all about you being able to be edified through books as well as having something to um, use during your personal me time and just spending time with the Lord through fiction, non-fiction and things like that. Um, probably not the correct way to say it. So I'll have all the information down below. And like I said, you can watch my previous videos. But I'm like, when I got this, I was, I was like so excited to open it, but I had to wait. And I've had this bag now for about three weeks. Yeah. Okay. So here's my bag. Oh, and they don't come in boxes anymore. She now hand makes these bags. My phone is vibrating. Oh, those are emails. You got emails on emails all day, all day. Ooh, okay. I'll check these later. But, um, yes. So she used to have boxes, um, but now she hand sews a lot of her bags. She buys the fabric and makes them herself. And I love my other two. Can I get to it? Let me just get it off my cart. I have my other ones here. So the first one I got was this snowflake one um, here. And it's really, this fabric on this snowflake one is really nice. It's really nice and soft, okay? So this was the first one I got, and it's just a bag. And I use these as book sleeves. Um, I put my books in them when I'm, like, going out with my family. Um, then for Valentine's Day, I got this one that says love on it. Excuse me, not, not Valentine's, for, for January. I'm sorry, for January, I had this one that had love. This one is definitely thicker than um, the snowflakes, a little softer, um, but I really did like this one a lot. It just says love in different scripts and colors. Um, and then for February, I have Charlie Brown. Mm. I, I just, uh, I love... I like Charlie Brown, okay? I, I used to lo love watching Charlie Brown. I still watch Charlie Brown every now and then. Let me get a sip of my coffee. But, um, 
I think this is like so cute. And it's literally like comic. You can read it. Like it says smack hair because they kissed. And she's running her way like dog lips. Like it just. I, I, I watch Charlie Brown so much that when I look at this I literally envision everything. And then like she's kissing him again here. Here, there's not one he kissed here. He's kissing the letter. He like it just is so cute. It, the child and he is happy. But um, let's dive in. So I'm pretty sure. So the th okay, the thing with these boxes, if you guys have seen the other two videos, the things with it is most of these books I already own. <laughs> so I've been giving the fictional books to my sister at church, who has been wanting to get into biblical fiction. So I gave her two books. I gave her The End of the Magi because I had three. I had two extra copies of that. So I gave her one of my copies of that. And then I gave her, um, what is that book called? Shadow of the Storm by Connie Lynn Cassette because that came in the box. Um, and I already had them and it was no point of me keeping them. So I gave them to my sis. And then the other boxes came with other books that I had from Angela Hunt. So I don't know what's in this box. Um, so the first thing I see here, okay, is this. This is a handmade bookmark that she made, um, which I think is so pretty. It has the tassels at the end. So we have that. I really want to laminate it and then poke a hole and then stick this back in. So I think that's what I'm going to do is get some laminating sheets. I'm going to untie it here, laminate this poke the hole in and then stick this back in and make sure it's like glued on with hot glue but that is really nice I think that's really pretty that she did that ooh 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 we have some tea y'all know I love me some tea okay I love me some tea um this is African summer herbal tea it says see insert I don't I don't know where the insert is for this so um that's what it says and it's rooibos tea, basically. African tea is rooibos, and it's a red tea. Um, I love it. It's so, so delicious. Um, what's this? Oh, she sent some tea bags. That is so... Oh, oh, my God. That is awesome. So, these are disposable tea bags in here to go with the tea. It is loosely tea. And normally, you use about one and a half to two teaspoons of this to make the perfect tea for eight ounces. But um, that is awesome. I, I can't wait to try that out. We are tea lovers. What's this? What's this? Um, so this is a postcard. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not. Okay. Yeah, so this is the first Corinthians 13 scripture about love. That's so... Uh, stuff like this is really cute because you can use it as a prayer card, which I might do that. I have a bunch of these. Honestly, I don't know where they are. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie to y'all. I have a bunch of these and don't know where I put them. They're somewhere in my room. I just don't know where. Um, I literally have been looking for these and don't know where they are. But I have like a bunch of these and um, I just thought now that I could write prayers on the back of these concerning this and then stick them on my wall. But you can also use these as tippins to put into your um, your Bibles. Um, you can like write your notes or your thoughts in them, stick them in your Bibles, do art, whatever. But I'm probably going to use these as pray cards. Might do that. Okay. So this is a notepad, and I do have my other two notepads from her here. So um, this was the December one. Just had a Christmas tree, and the scripture was Matthew 1, 18 to 2, 23. Um, and then this is the same one from January, which is a Hebrews 3, 4. Perfectly fine. So now I have two of those, which is awesome. What is this? Okay, so this is the information for the tea. So it's inspired by the high... Excuse me, let me pull it up. So here is the tea. Um, it's African Sargent tea. Sargent, Sargent, Sargent tie? I don't know. But it's inspired by the hot climate of the African Sargent tie. Comes the African summer tea, a unique blend infused with herbs that heal and nourish the body. Starting with honeybush, um, a smooth tasting relative of rooibos. African summer provides additional vitamins and minerals through eucalyptus, hibiscus, safflower, and marigolds. The zest of citrus and rose hips strengthen your immunity and steals your body. Capture a taste of the exotic plains with every sip. So this is not rooibos. It is actually honeybush. 
um, which is relative to rooibos. That's probably what I'm seeing. It also has safflower, eucalyptus, hibiscus, marigolds, and rosehip with some zest of citrus. That is going to taste so good and so refreshing. Oh my god, I can't wait. What's this? Um, so this is Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. These are little, um, what are they called? You guys know what these are, right? I, I took piano for like a year and can't remember what these are called. But that, these, the things that teach you how to play the piano and stuff like that. Um, but she did have this on her Instagram, um, I think back in January. And I saw a bunch of people using these to do artwork. Like they drew on them. And um, obviously Christian related things, of course. They drew on it and then stuck it in their Bibles or stuff like that. So the first one here is Praise the Lord, Ye Heavens Adore Him. And then this one is Come Thou Fountain of Every Blessing. So there are songs that you can, basically hymns. That's what they're called, hymns. That's what they are. Um, you can draw on. What is this? Oh, I have another one. Whoa, I have more. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, um, wait a minute. Okay. So then I have, Oh My Soul, Bless God the Father. How Great Thou Art. And then I have, God is Love, His Mercy Brightens. And at a mighty fortress is our God. Okay, so I have three of these. Wow, I okay, I wasn't expecting that, but thanks. I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna actually learn these songs. Sure will. Um, then I have the little pamphlet for this month. Um, so the Delilah box February 2020. I think that's her number. I'm not gonna show you guys. Um, it talks about waiting with a joyful heart. Proverbs 17:22, Psalm 51:10. Hebrews 6.10, um, and things like that. And then she has national holidays for February. So, today is the 20th of February. So, today is National Love Your Pet Day and National Muffin Day. I don't have a pet. We used to have a pet fish. Um, my son's fish died, though, sadly. But, um, Muffin Day, I like muffins. That's awesome. And, yeah, so I think that's cool that she has that. And here's all the information about what's in the box for this month i'm not gonna look i think i already sold the book but yeah okay is that it nope i have a pen so pencil that was a pen valentine's day pencil that's cute i like pens like th pencils like this and i don't write with them i just keep them for decoration they're really pretty we do have a pen um the delilah box book club subscription this one is in a sort of bronzy orangey color and it is a pen and a stylus i have a black one already from her so we like um we have candy. So, candy in a Ziploc bag. Of course, Valentine's Day. You need candy. Um, and then, oh. I have three books in here. Alright, I thought it was two. I have three books. So, that's it in the bag. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I really love this bag. Can't wait to play with it. Um, okay, so this... Is nonfiction. It's the audacious Molly Bruno, amazing stories from the life of a powerful woman of prayer. Um, oh, and it's forwarded by Stephen Kendrick, who was one of the the writers for War Room and Overcomer and things like that. I like Stephen. I like the Kendrick brothers in general. Like anything they do is amazing. Um, Molly. Oh, okay. So if you guys have seen War Room and heard of Miss Clara, who was the one that helped Elizabeth learn about God and pray, this is the actual Miss Clara, like the legit Miss Clara. Her name was Molly Bruno. It says that Molly Bruno is the real modern day Miss Clara, the character in the hit film War Room. Wow. Okay, I just got real excited. Yeah, I know I'm gonna have to like watch War Room and then and, and then and then read this. Cause I liked Miss Clara. Miss Clara was a funny old, you know, she was a funny old woman. Like I loved her so much. So I'm excited to actually have wow. And you can see um Stephen Kendrick here with Molly Brook. Alright. And this is written by Marie Ar Armenia. Wow. I'm ex I, I, that just blew my mind. I'm excited for this. Okay, so we have that. That's nonfiction. Okay, keep in mind this fourteen ninety nine, so fifteen dollars, right? Then we have Chill to the Most High, <laughs> book two. 
of um, Cities of Refuge series. Um, book one is A Light on the Hill. Book two is Sales of the Most High. Book three is Until the Mountains Fall. And book four is Like a Swing in the Night. And I can't, I, I can't do, okay? But this is book two. And this follows Eitan and Sophia, of course, with uh, Derek and Mariah. And oh, the feels, the feels, the feels. I, I read this book, eight five stars, but I will be passing this along to my sis um, on Sunday. I'm giving her like a stack of books. So we have that. And then this is one that I have never heard of. This is historical fiction romance or historical romance. It's set in 1901 in Rhode Island. I actually lived in Rhode Island, Rhode Island for about six months. Um, I went to school out there. I went to Johnson & Wales um, University in Providence, Rhode Island for fashion merchandising and retail marketing. Loved it out there. Rhode Island is such a really just a nice place. And... Um, I enjoyed my, my time out there, actually. I really did. It's more of a retirement type of spot, but during my college years, I really enjoyed it. But this one is Love by the Book. Um, this is a Ladies of Summer Hill novel by Cara, or Cara Lynn James. Never heard of this. Um, don't know anything about this. But there are other books in this series. I don't know if this is like book one or not. Yeah, so I think this is book three because she has Love on Assignment and then Love on a Dime, which are also in the Ladies of Summer Hill. So ooh, this looks like it's going to be interesting. And it's set in like, I like things set in like the 1900s. I'm here for it. I'm here for the 1900s. Maybe because I'm a 1999, 1999, 1991 baby. <laughs> but um, yes. All right. All right. And this is from Thomas Nelson. So yes, I'm going to keep this book, of course. Um, and read this. So, I'm excited. So, we have this, which is historical romance. This, which is biblical fiction, which I'm not going to keep because I own a copy already. Read it, annotated it, loved it. And then we have a nonfiction on the real Miss Clara, which I'm here for. So, this is 16. This one is also 16. And then this one is 15. So, do I think the Lila box is worth it? Definitely. Um, you're getting two or three books. I've noticed for the past couple of months, I've been getting three books from her. I think the last one I got two books, but um, I've been getting two or three books from her, of course, with some extra goodies. I mean, you, you always need a pen. You always need some notepaper. Um, you always get some type of tea. <laughs> yes, um, I highly recommend it. Again, if you guys are interested, I will leave a link down below for you guys to check out her Instagram, her Facebook, her website, and also to subscribe. I think if you sign up on her website, you get your first box 10% off. Um, again, it's on her website. If you scroll to the bottom, I think it's like a section where it says subscribe and save 10%. Um, and you'll get 10% off your first box. I highly recommend it. I think next month is going to be the last month that she sends me a box. And um, I'm definitely going to be ordering the box. Um, probably not every month, sadly, because uh, we don't got no money. Unless I can like finagle it between my mother and my fiance to like try to have it in. Because I think her box is $29 with five dollars shipping so um i think that's like 34 dollars if i'm doing the math right in my head probably not probably 29 30 31 32 yeah 34 dollars. so about 34 35 dollars is about the range um so 35 dollars for three books is great and um yeah so i think that's it for this video i love everything in this box i love everything Again, I am definitely, when I get more laminating sheets, I'm going to actually laminate, laminate this, like I said, take out the, the tassel, um, and then I'm actually going to poke a hole and then laminate it again, and then I'm going to stick the tassel on and probably hot glue it to keep it like this, because this is cute. And this handmade, and again, I love that she does things handmade. She takes the time to really put her heart and her personality into the boxes, which I love. I don't mind companies that send, like, boxes out. You know, they make and curate book boxes. But I also love more when you have book boxes that actually take the time to add personal touches. I love that touch. I love personal touches when you're doing something that's in like a mass bulk. So like a subscription service like that, that actually does like handmade things or writes handmade notes. Or she sends out, you know letters and things with her information and her experiences i just i love it so i highly i'm gonna keep saying it i highly 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 recommend the um delilah box it's absolutely a phenomenal box i'm still on a hunt like i said for the other boxes i'm still reaching out to companies well i haven't done it in a minute just because february and march are bad weather bad weather times and um, i don't like reaching out to companies in the months because you know just we you, usps and up no just just know um but i will still be looking out for other companies like i said and um I, I highly recommend it so that's it for this video 
if you guys are interested in a Delilah box, go grab one. If it's for yourself, your your niece, your sister, your mother, your cousin. I think I actually want to order a box for my mother. I think I do. I think I do. And she always has some phenomenal books. She has a lot of Connie Linka set, a lot of Misu Andrews, a lot of Angela Hunt. Um, I know she had A Stray Drop of Blood, which I want to read that book so bad. So bad. And then she had Mara. <sighs> I want to read those books so bad. So, um, she has such great selections. And if you guys want to keep up to date on, like, the new bag she's going to be making and sneak peeks of the month's box, just, um, check out her Instagram. She always updates on Instagram. So, I think that's awesome. But, um, yeah. That's it for this video. If you are not subscribed to the family, subscribe. Join the sisterhood. Become a daughter of Increase. If you are a man, become a son of Increase. If you are subscribed, click the bell to say notified. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.